Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today I would like to talk about how to making a folding texture in the Rhino 3D software. Are you ready? Let's get started. This folding object can be done with the same way um, using the control point edit, but I just want to show you another option to make this happen with the Rhino 7 sub D. That's starting from the scratch. First of all, I'm gonna come into the top view and I'm going to start drawing some curve. And this curve is the basic structure of what my um, folding is going to look like. So I'm just going to do something really simple right here. And you want to make sure this point, it is starting from this line right here. You don't want to have any gap on the top. Now coming into the sub D tool, if you're not familiar, Rhino 7 does have the sub D that you can click right here. And then you can um, see all the tool right on the top menu, or you can bring up the bar that in the bar for Rhino 7, you have a sub D tool and then you can call out the whole sub D tool right here. This one right here is a sub D multi pipe. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to uh, set up the radius for two in this case. And then end cap, I want to on and I want them to be smooth. So the set zero for the smooth curve and I'm going to type it zero right here on my top and hit enter. Then I will get something like this. All right, for this sub D tool, we don't actually need the bottom part. So coming into the sub D, we want to make sure that we select the surface right here and we want to pick up everybody on the bottom and we just did it. So we just need this piece right here for us to play with. Again, you can continue to play with it if you want to have the UFO and look a little bit more different, a little bit more complicated. For example, you can pick up this surface right here and then you want to continue to extrude it coming out and then you want to bring it up here and then you want to extrude it one more time coming here and then you can continue to extrude it if you want and you get different shape. So in my demonstration, I just want to keep it simple. It's easier for you to follow me. Okay, so once I have this one, I'm going to creating a surface that allow me to uh, do the folding later. All right, and if you feel like this point is not high enough, you can also coming into the point, pick up all the point on the top and bring it higher if that works for you. You can also tweak it certain part. Uh, you don't want to like the uniform high, you can pick up a certain part higher and lower. And I'm going to stop it, tweak it there. All right, the next command that we are going to use is coming into the surface and you have something, this ghost looking icon right here, it's called drap. All right, we want to drap an object and it doesn't have to be too big as long as it's covered the whole thing. We want to use a drap command and drag a window right here, cover the entire area, and then we'll get something like this. Now, this is the surface that we want. This is just a, a, a prop for us. Now you can see there's a, some um, area right there and it's bump it up. And if that look all right to you, we're going to continue from there. If not, you can re-edit in your sub D and then you drop it again. Now, if you got going to turn on a control point and then you try to pull certain point to edit, like even though you want to select a bunch of them at once, let's say you're going to pull it up, it will look so unnatural. And then that's too many points to edit, right? One thing you can do, you can smooth this one um, or you can reduce the mesh to have a less mesh. Uh, or in the sub D, you do have a option, it's called quad remesh right here. So we're going to use the quad remesh and then we're going to um, having this surface. And then we want it to have less count there. Um, if we want to convert it to the sub D and let's say we only wanted to have 400 count for call, like how many points that you have and let's preview it. And you're going to see this is getting a lot more, uh, less point and it's more manageable there. And if you reduce even more, let's say we want a 200 count. And again, we want to preview it and you can see this is a lot more manageable there. So I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to moving this one out. So we from sub D turning into a trap and now we are turning into this shape right here. And again, you can continue to edit if you want to. Uh, for example, I'm going to turn on the sub D 
and I'm going to pick up the faces right here. And if you are going to pick up these faces, holding your shift, double click the next door, it will pick up the whole thing right here and double I'm also going to pick up right there and then you can kind of pull it up and the way of you pull it up this way it's a lot more easier than trying to edit in this mesh right there all right so you can continue to edit if you want to and I just realized I should have a cutting everything from the top and the bottom and maybe what I can do is I can pick up all the faces right here that I don't need it for example right there and I want to cut it there so I want to open it right there you can continue to edit with the sub D in this way but not too much uh, with the rhino surface with a bunch of a mesh right there so this is advantage of using the sub D in this way all right so if I want to delete everything on the bottom, I can make it look like more folding right there. Okay. It's up to you if you want to anything like that. So I'm just going to delete the top and I'm just going to maybe want to delete the whole section right there. Right. So I wanted to have something like that. Once we have this, we keep editing and maybe we can tweak it a little bit more. Uh, maybe the faces right there, I want them to go down a little bit. Maybe the faces right there go down a little bit. So you can kind of play with it to make it smoother because now you are in the sub D surface. Once you're getting into the sub D surface and then you like the, the way for tweaking by moving this one. Another way for tweaking it is this is the sub D surface and we are going to um, pick up the whole thing. And another thing that we can moving around instead of moving like those faces and vertex or the edges in the sub D, we can use the command for cage edit. And I do have specific video for the cage edit. If you search on my channel, that's showing you how to do the cage edit okay we want to choose the bonding box and we want to align to the world and i'm going to do the count just for that would be fine and just show you what that is right so now i have all those points right there i can do some editing for example i'm gonna coming into all four view and right here on the top i'm going to pick up this one and just bring them lower by moving like this Right, so you can make it the way to moving like this way, you can move it um, to more uniform in the way. Like I'm going to make the top coming together and this one coming a little bit lower. And that will be uh, maybe a earring design for me. Right, so something look like this. And as long as you keep the box, you can also turn on the control point and this will come back. So I'm going to, I kind of regret that I picking up those points. I want to move them down and then you can continue to edit to make it really folding. All right. So once you have this, I'm going to make a copy for the comparison that this is the uh, piece that we've been editing and we really like it, but we cannot just 3D printing something like this. It is a single surface. So we need to have some sort of a thickness coming into the Rhino that you have uh, on the sub D that you can offset the sub D. You can offset this way or you can offset inside. It's up to you. I just need to have a small distance. So that's me typing 0.5. Both side is equal. No side is equal. Yes. And you hit enter and we'll have something like this. Take a look on the rendering. Now you have something that you are printable. Coming to looking at this surface one more time, you feel like this is really harsh right there. So in the sub D that you also have another function to remove crease. All right. So we want to remove crease. We're going to come in here and pick up the edges and we're going to pick up. Let me turn this into the ghost view and we're going to pick up the entire edges. Double click. You will choose the whole thing. Pick up this one. Double click on the neighbor. It will pick up the whole thing and just hit enter. Now you can see it become really nice and rounded. Let's take a look on the render view one more time. So this will be really nice folding. It's more like you hammering on the metal and for our jewelry design or other design that you are planning to have. I hope you enjoyed the video. I have a course to step by step to show you all the detail about sub D. If you are interested uh, in this app for Rhino 7, check out my course on my website. Thank you for watching and I will see you next.